It's time now for Uncancelled. And this is where Britain's top commentators speak out on controversial issues without the fear of the cancel culture sweeping the rest of the media. Now, the estranged wife of the double rapist, formerly known as Adam Graham, now going by the name Isla Bryson, has branded the sex criminal's transition a sham to seek attention and receive an easier time in a female jail. Shauna Graham told the Mail Online, never once did he say anything to me about feeling he was in the wrong body. I have a lot of sympathy for real transgender people, but he's just bullshitting the authorities. I can see why he doesn't want to be in a prison with loads of big scary men, so he's come up with this ploy. Joining me now to give his take on this growing Scottish scandal is Man of the People, Charlie Lawson. Charlie, Scheming Sturgeon Good evening, had to do a screeching U-turn on this today. But in reality, she's no feminist, is she, Charlie? Because it's her woke orthodoxy in Scotland that has seen this male rapist sent to a female prison. Well, I think, Dan, uh, earlier on this week, um, I... I was very, very angry about um, two placards saying decapitate turfs and all this. Yeah. Well, I, I then I got, yeah, then I got even more angry when I heard a quote say about this man, Mister. I'm I'm calling him Mister because that's what mm-hmm. he is. He is. I don't give a shit about pronouns or whatever. But uh, when she was a man, she was convic- He was convicted of raping two. I mean. I was I, I was infuriated and actually came off social media. But what happened consequently was, I think, that bowing to pressure of the good British public who turned around and said, Nippy, wise up, you silly pillock. Um, you know, th- this is just wrong. And, of course, in the end, Sturgeon, being a politician, has bowed to pressure from the silent majority who are starting to get listened to, and now this has been uh, absolutely ridiculed and chucked out. But believe you me, Dan, she's only doing this because it suits her uh, her status as leader of the Scottish Nationalistic National Party. Uh, she's, you know, she's doing it because some PR person has prodded her in the arse and said, oh, yeah, "She doesn't want to do that." I think we ought to go back on this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what did you make of this extraordinary interview? Charlie, from Shauna Graham, who was married to, or who is married to this monster, actually. She, she remains uh, her husband. So while this guy gets through the courts in Scotland, no one calls him out for this being a complete sham. The wife says he never spoke about wanting to change gender. This is something that he has done simply to avoid the tough treatment that he's going to get as a double rapist of women in a men's prison. Well, Shona's come up and been honest. It clearly wasn't a good relationship for her, and and my sympathies go out to her because he's clearly a complete arse. Mm. But um, uh, the the one thing I would say, Dan, the one positive thing to come out of this is that perhaps this may be a turning point for the us yeah. silent majority or or us yeah. barely vocal <laughs> silent majority. Well, I think it like. is. No, no, no. Uh, I think we are the silent are majority, but I listen. think it's changing. Yeah, I think it's changing. Even the BBC. Even the woke British bashing corporation leading on the story today because they know that they can no longer avoid it. Yes. There's a couple of other issues in the gender wars, Charlie, that I want to look at, though. Edinburgh University has butchered one of my favourite musicals, Jesus Christ Superstar, by making the son of God non-binary. The Twelve Apostles will also be portrayed by female or non-binary performers in the woke production, but good on him, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber, Tim Rice, who are obviously behind the incredible musical dub, insisted the lyrics and pronouns cannot be changed. What did you make of that? Well, I was, I, as you know me, Dan, I spoke to someone this evening about this who, who's a Christian. He's not devout, mm-hmm. but he's a believer, my friend Andy. And he, he finds it, A, offensive, and B, he doesn't understand it. I don't understand it. I I actually couldn't give that big a monkeys. I mean, as we've said before, if you if you want to change, if if you want Francis de la Tour to play Hamlet, fine, okay. Now Jesus Christ, no matter no matter what kind of um, who you worship or whatever, you know, Jesus Christ was a man. We know that. No, okay. If you want to play him as a, a Hamlet, clearly was a chap, but. 
if you want to play Jesus Christ as a girl, I can kind of sort of go along with that, okay? But it's, they're not content with that. It's going to be a non it's going to be a, a, a nobody. It's going to be a rhododendron or something. I mean, what, what are they going to identify this human being as? It doesn't make any sense. It's another load of bullshit from Edinburgh University following hard on the heels of Aberdeen telling us that Peter Pan was dangerous, for Christ's sake. Oh, I it's know. the same thing. I, and we're just thinking, what, 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 what are, as we've said before, Danny, who are, who are the young people coming out of these universities? What in the name of God well, are they going to be like? We know. To to Sadly, we know. And then there was one more, Charlie, that really got me going today. Former X Factor judge Cheryl Tweedy has said the show will only be able to return if it's given a woke makeover, including the introduction of a non-binary category and scrapping the ageist over 25s group. I mean, Charlie, we don't want a woke washed X Factor, do we? No, I don't think Simon will wear this at all. I think he's a fairly sensible chap. But also, I'm actually up in the phoning you from up in the northeast. And Cheryl, get your arse back up here, darling. Keep quiet. Shut up and get on with life because you're making a dick of yourself again. Just be quiet. Get on and judge. Don't spoil. If it ain't broke, don't try and fix it, for Christ's sake. This is just Cheryl trying to be up with the in crowd of Edinburgh and Aber Aberdonian University people. Gerald, you're gorgeous, baby. Just sit tight at home, keep quiet, and look nice on the show. It's fine the way it is. We don't want rhododendrons and plant pots coming up doing no. fucking stupid bloody songs. No, exactly. We want, we, want, we want Louis Walsh, Simon Cowell, Cheryl uh, Tweedy, Danny Minogue having big arguments. Forget a non-binary category. Uh, Charlie Lawson, thank you so much, Charlie. We'll speak next week.